Alright, so I'll just go ahead and help myself to this safe. 44 Magnum rounds. I don't even know where my Lincoln's repeater went. Not that we really need it anymore. We're pretty good on the firepower. Pretty good, pretty good. Blood pack. Ooh, right away stint pack. Always glorious. Dirty water. Not so glorious. All right. Meditationary, meditationary, meditationary. It's got to be in here. Yes. All right. Mr. Ian, I'm here to save you. Activate internal. Sa Ooh, here we go. Door released. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into this. Uh, me? No, no, not, not, no, no. Me? Break into. No. What? What do you take me for? Some common thief? Uh, what do you want? You're a bitch to find. You know that? Well, maybe that's because I don't want to be found. Why the heck are you looking for me anyway? I'm sorry, Ian, but your parents are dead. DEAD! You think I don't know that? You think I don't know what I did? <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, man! Don't you understand me? I killed them, okay? My mother and father are dead because of me! It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. <sighs> I give up. Fine. Stay here and cry. <laughs> Just like Vance said, humans will never understand us. Just sit on their high horse and ridicule us. Well, fine. You can judge us any way you see fit, but one thing's certain. I'm not leaving. Now get the hell out of my room. This isn't your room. This is a meditation room. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, well, I've located Ian West, so I guess I have to take him with me no matter what. I thought I told you I didn't want to talk to you anymore. I'm not going home, and that's it. I'll break your goddamn lips if that's what it takes. Nothing I can say will change your mind, will it? Unless you can prove to me there's a good reason to leave, I'm staying right here in Moresti, even alone if I had to. I thought I told you I did. Mm, I changed my mind, Ian. I think you should stay here. Thank you. Somehow, just hearing you say that helps me a lot. Look, all I ever wanted was someone to let me make decisions for myself. For once, I've decided that this is where I should be. I've done something terrible, and I need to deal with it. Until I'm ready to face it, I'm staying here in Maresti, even if I had to stay alone. Okay, then. Jesus, way to be a goddamn... Way to give in to the addict. Come on. You said you said you you gave in to the hunger, and you're sitting there eating goddamn iguana bits on a stick. Come on. Really, Ian? Don't think I didn't nice see that shish kebab. Yeah, bullshit. Oh, my dear Christ. I, <laughs> I don't know what, how much more of this family bullshit I can take. Oh, the fucks I give. They weren't high to begin with, but <laughs> we are running on goddamn fumes right now. It appears we have a lot to speak about. I hear that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a decision? Mm. Before I talk about Ian, there's still the matter of Arafu to discuss. As long as you maintain this level of civility, please proceed. Give those people a chance. They're defenseless. I suppose we could stop our raids on Arafu in light of this situation. But that just forces us to prey on others. Unless, many years ago, I survived by drinking from preserved blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs are scarce. Hmm... Arafu will sell you blood packs and he'll leave the town alone. Although I appreciate what you are trying to do, please realize that we have no money or goods to speak of. 
What little money Carl makes with his shop goes to buying weapons and ammunition to protect ourselves. I'm very sorry. But perhaps you can make a better offer. How about you fucking learn how to make some goddamn money and you get to live another day, huh? How about that? Like, really? <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do this one. Our food donates blood packs and in exchange you protect them. Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. Mm, Ian's a big boy now. Why don't, you make, why don't you go ask him yourself? If you fear reprisal from the family regarding his decision, Know that I would never hold it against you. And as for Ian having you speak in his place, I find his trust sufficient enough to accept what you say is true. Uh, why do I have to do everything? All right, Ian's decided to stay with the family. When you first arrived, I was suspicious of your intentions. I can see now it was an error in judgment. I can assure you Ian will be well cared for and safe with the family. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather educational. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> I mean, if you want some blood packs, I mean, I, I can arrange that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. How about some blood right here? How about some blood? How about some blood packs right there? <laughs> they sure as hell like drinking the blood, but god damn it, they don't like the sight of their own blood. Hey, god damn, Sharon. You're right. You're right. He can't stand the sight of his own blood. Okay, so Arafu, I guess uh, we do we'll have a little ways to travel back, so I guess while I take care of the boring travel stuff, I will be a bee. Alright, we are back in Arafu. Let's see if Mr. King here accepts the proposal. I, hope you killed every last one of those bastards. I could, but the option never really presented itself as far as the quest line goes. What the fuck? I thought you could kill them. Well, holy shit. You're back. Of course I'm back. What the hell happened out there? <laughs> the family's been dealt with and you owe me big. If I had two cabs to rub together, I'd still give them to you. Afraid I'm as poor as a Brahmin herder, though. But goddamn, am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. What about Ian? Did you find him? Mm, what? What the? These options seem kind of... What? Where's the... Where's the part where we tell them that they need to give blood to... What? <sighs> Sorry, but Ian's dead. He's dead! Damn. Poor kid. Sorry everything didn't work out. But consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the waste. <laughs> what? Uh, oh, okay. I have a proposal for you from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about the part where they murdered the the two other people over there, huh? What about that? We're just going to forgive them? I guess they're not really in a position to really argue. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. How about all wine? Really? That's your emergency gear right there? Wine? Are you serious? Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Watch it, will you? Come 
old man. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe I should have gone in there and killed everyone. Jesus. I'm not sure how I feel about this good karma shit. I'm still the devil, right? Because if I'm not the devil, we might we might have to get a little blood on our hand. <gasps> what the fuck? We're not the... Okay, they're dying. Wait a minute, I think killing them gives me karma too. <sighs> I may have made a mistake doing this quest. I may, I may have done fucked up, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it, we ended up crashing, too, so just to add on to the things of... The, the, uh, added on to the list of things that Steam my goddamn being to. You know what? I think any way you slice it, this mission gave me good karma, and that is... That's... That's a bannable offense. I, that's bannable from life. So we might have to get on that. Plus, they did murder. They did murder some people. So these guys are pricks. They kill people for food. And killing humans is always wrong. So that's number two. Number three, they gave me good karma. So I think I got to kill them. I think I do. I will talk to... What? So what do you need? Evil. That's what I need right now. I also need a fallout that doesn't crash every five minutes. Jesus Christ, this is bad. Just absolutely terrible. Uh, that's okay, the, the, pri the prize is worth it, right? That's what I keep telling myself, is the prize is worth it, yeah? Hey, yo, Vance! Yo, what up, bro? I got news for you. Yo, yo, yo. The family welcomes your return with open arms. <laughs> All part of the master well, plan. Well. Always a pleasure to receive you in Moresti. What brings you down here today? Mm. Arafu has accepted your proposal, Vance. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. Hmm. Can you teach me the ways of the vampire? Oh god, do I really want to be sparkly? Because you like you kind of look like you sparkle, buddy. I think I'll pass on that. Here, have some blood packs. I can only offer my thanks. My people are getting accustomed to using these as a substitute for live prey. As compensation for your effort, allow me to at least give you something in return. Look who's back. What, do you, what did I get? There we go. What did I get? 90 bottle cap. I thought you said you didn't have bottle caps for this stuff. That's it. That's it. You give me good karma. You try to make me a sparkly goddamn lame-ass emo vampire. You know what? Okay, I've had enough of this shit right here. I've had it. That's it. And you gave me good karma, and that is the worst offense of all. God damn it, Vance! You're done! You're done! We'll get him. Bring it on, assholes! They don't need anyone protecting them, because... Ooh, Carl, you done fucked up, boy! I'd like to see you tr I'd like to see you try and make me at least use a stim pack. <laughs> Maybe Arafu won't need any protection because at this rate everyone who wants to kill them is going to be dead. <laughs> Uh, Ian, hello, where are you? Hey, what up, no, Ian? Hey. <laughs> where? What's the matter, huh? Can't stand the sight of your own blood? What, what are you trying to, are you trying to, are you trying to drink my own blood there, Ian? Because I think not! Well, I guess it's not a lie anymore. <laughs> Oh, 
Poor Ian West. Poor Ian West. <laughs> ah, that was satisfying. I've been holding in the bloodlust for far too long here. You didn't need to worry about the vampires. No, those were the least of your problems. Those were the least. Hey, I wonder if that Alan guy is going to be pissed at. Oh, that Robert. Oh, I wonder if that Robert knows I've slaughtered everyone. Let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> there you are. Ah, there you are. What's the bar? <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like it's hard to find me here, man. It's not hard at all. <laughs> oh, they are dead as fuck. Oh, plus, plus the doorman said I looked harmless. That's also, that's also a crime. That's a very, very serious crime. Anything but harmless, okay? Jesus, these people will never learn. They'll never learn. This is my goddamn wasteland. It is. It belongs to me. I've got the deed for this place, and you can't pry it from my goddamn hands, even if you sent the entire armies. The wasteland over here. It's just not possible. It's not possible. I have too many drugs. I have too many stim packs. I have dog meat. Hey, I wonder if I can send dog meat into the radiation thing at the end. Probably not. I don't think dog meat's, dog meat's that smart. All right, let's go back to Arafu. Tell them the good news. Ian is actually dead. Vance is dead. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey. Ooh, is that the old man? Alan, hello. How are you? He got here quick. See, look at that. He has crispy squirrel bit. You know what? I think it was all an act. Those assholes, man. <laughs> we're going to drink blood because we think we're sparkly. Bah. See them nom nomming on goddamn crispy squirrel bits. Evan King, where are you? You don't belong here. How the heck are you? Things are much better. We all don't have to stay inside our houses, and we sleep much better at night. It hasn't been this peaceful in Arafu for as long as I can remember. The proposal you brought us from Vance should also ensure our safety. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay you. Oh, the look on his face when he realizes that their guard is dead and they're being terrorized by some other dark force. Sorry, the wells run dry. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. All right, I'll leave your house. See you later, Duder. See you later. <laughs> uh, so... They, when they would raid this town, they would throw, like, bottles and bricks at their houses and pound on their doors. I wonder how they would feel about what I'm about to do here. Hey, what up, Karen? Hey, you're back. Let's chat. I'm glad I was wrong about you. Welcome back. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. There are a few interesting places around here I've heard about. I don't know if they'll help you or not, but you're welcome to them. What? Don't be a stranger. It's nice to have company. That, that, that's your reward? Seriously? Places I've already probably been to? Really? Really, Karen? That's the best you can do for me? Talk about disappointing. Alright, what about the, maybe the crazy lady, lady isn't so crazy. Wakey, wakey, oh, Braley! Where'd that pie at? Hey there. Why, yes. Let me give you one of my old-fashioned chocolate chip cookies. Enjoy. Why should give me a tin can? Oh, my dear fucking Christ, she just gave me a tin can. <laughs> really? A tin can? I was just joking! Bye-bye. 
Lady. I just. <sighs> huh? Oh, you're back. This is the worst chocolate chip Don't cookie I've ever me. had. She's in La La Land again. Well, all I can do is offer my repair services to you. I'm pretty good with fixing stuff. That's usually because Braley breaks everything, thinking she's making a cake or something. Why don't you throw her out the airlock? You can't even repair. S Your repair skill is 12. Wow. Yep. Take it easy. <laughs> so, the bo if you thought the bottles outside the house were bad, what about the big ammo inside the house? Huh? Huh? <gasps> you fucking assholes! Arrgh! And they don't care. Then again, I don't care. What have I ever cared? You, you give me shit rewards. You don't. I don't think you quite understand what lengths I went to to help you, fucking asshole. Go to fuck to sleep. Did I say get up? No, I didn't. That's it. That's it. And last but not least, the leader of them all. The biggest scumbag, dipshit, pussy face bastard I have ever seen in my life. Take your wine. Take your wine. Take this shotgun. And shove it up your ass! He's right. This place is peaceful. <laughs> uh, four people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. And on that bombshell, I think I'm done for the day. Yep, we do good work here at Rexos Incorporated. Very good. 100% customer satisfaction rating. But anyway, I must be on my way. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, peace!